Did you know that Microsoft Word has its own citation management tool? Well, let me show you how it works. In Word, I've got a sentence that I want to add a citation to. To start, click the area where you want to insert the citation. This is usually at the end or in the middle of a sentence. To add the citation, go to the References tab. All the tools you need can be found in a section called Citations and Bibliography. I'll start by clicking on the Insert Citation button. You have two options here. You can either enter a citation now as a new source if you already know the reference information, or you can create a placeholder, which you can populate later. I'll select the first option for now and I'll explain the placeholders afterwards. To create a source, select its type from the drop down menu here. You have a lot of options here, such as books and journal articles. I'll select a journal article for this example. You can also select the Show All Bibliography Fields option to expand the fields to populate. Those marked with a red asterisk represent the fields that you should populate as a minimum. All others are optional. I'll populate this entry using the information for my journal article. You will also see the tag at the bottom left. This is just a unique identifier for this source. It's populated automatically, but you can also adjust it if you like. Next, I'll click OK once I'm happy. You should then see a citation appear in the document. If you want to make further changes to the source, click on the citation and use the drop down menu to select Edit Source. Another thing you can do is select the citation and choose Edit Citation. These settings will only adjust this particular citation and not the main source. For example, you can include specific pages and remove the author, year, or title if you wish. Now we have our source saved, you can then add this citation throughout your document. Just click where you want to insert it and go to Insert Citation and you'll see the source listed. Just click on it. I also mentioned before about placeholders. Say for example, you have a sentence, but you don't yet have a reference or source for this. Well, this is where placeholders are handy. Select the area you want to add the placeholder, then go to insert citation, and this time select add new placeholder. You only have to give this placeholder a tag name and then click OK. Once you eventually have the information for the placeholder, you can then update the details of it by going to edit source as we did before. So now you know how to add citations and placeholders. Let's now take a look at managing these sources. To do this, select the Manage Sources button to open the Source Manager. The left side of the manager shows the master list. This is a list of all the sources you have created in Word, not necessarily in just this document, but of all time. The right side shows the current list. In other words, the sources created are used in this very document. You can use the search bar at the top to find the sources in your lists and use the drop down menu to the right to sort the lists by a certain factor. If you have sources in your master list that you want to reuse in this document, for example, simply select them and then copy them to the current list. You can also delete, edit and add new sources directly from the source manager. Lastly, when you select a source, the preview window at the bottom will show you what the citation and bibliography entry will look like. Speaking of bibliographies, let me show you how to add one. Simply select the area where you want to add the bibliography to appear. Usually, this is at the end of the document. Then, go to Bibliography. You have three options here. They insert the same table, but differ in the title the table is given. Either Bibliography, References, or works cited. It actually doesn't matter, as you can always rename the title afterwards. I'll go ahead and select the first option. You'll then see your bibliography. How easy was that? A thing to know about citations and bibliographies is that if you make any changes to them in the Manage Sources section, say you wanted to update an author name, then you will notice that the document does not automatically update this to reflect this change. So always select a citation or bibliography and choose update to ensure the changes are updated throughout your document. Usually I do this before I save the document at the end of the day. Now that we have some citations and a bibliography, 
let's quickly talk about styling. The reference style can be selected from this drop down menu here. At the minute, I have an APA style selected, but I can change this to a different style and then the whole document will update to reflect this new style. And I hope you found this useful. But before you go, if you're actually serious about reference managing in Microsoft Word, then I actually recommend that you check out this video, where I'll show you everything that you need to know about Zotero, which is a much better solution for reference managing in Word. And I'll see you there.